ladies and gentlemen, this is a bike that will not be ignored. This is a bike that screams um, badass. When, when, there's two that when this bike pulled up, when you see it, you're like, the, the same thought comes to mind, something wicked. And when you hear it coming down the road, something wicked this way comes. None other, the very unique sound of the Valkyrie six cylinder motor putting down over a hundred rear wheel horsepower. This is a cruiser. It's a classic now, it's a 98. This is a rare, rare piece to find one that was owned by an old guy. He was getting in his seventies and he sold it to his friend, John Carvalho uh, at the request of his wife because his wife was afraid he was gonna hurt himself. He's getting a little too, he was getting a little unbalanced and had some medical issues sold to John and he kept on hounding John to sell it back to him, sell it back to him. And John's wife was like, hell no, you can't have it. I mean, John's, uh, his friend's wife wouldn't let him have it back. But this, this thing is just, this was a love of his life. Uh, he, he completely lavished this thing with, with uh, love and attention and regular washings and polishings. It only has 27,000 miles on it and it's loaded with accessories front to back. It comes standard from the factory, lathered in chrome and custom look and he took it to the next level it's got the custom grips on it it's got the custom running lights in the front here it's got the visors on the tack and speedo and on the on the uh, running lights the triple running lights on the front it's covered with these uh bolt covers the blue anodized bolt covers it's got a uh air horn setup on it it's got this badass looking oh it looks like an oh, just so just i want to clarify something here this is not an open intake it, it runs through the air box that's a cosmetic addition to the intake track Air doesn't go in there. Uh, if it did, you'd risk running, uh, you know, sucking in sand. But it's a cosmetic, so it looks like it's an open, open engine. It's not covered in chrome. It has a highway pegs. It's got the Cobra floorboards to keep the wife from flying off the back. It has the Valkyrie leather saddles. Uh, I didn't um, attach them, so I could open it up and show you. Uh, I didn't uh, buckle them down. These are the original factory Valkyrie Valkyrie saddlebags in mint condition. Um, the original pass. This passenger seat is removable, as is the luggage rack. So if you when we got it, there was no passenger seat on it because the gentleman that sold it to us, John Carvalho, if you remember last weekend, I was up at Cape Cod and he hooked me up with a collection of 16 bikes. There was two bikes he didn't want to, he really didn't want to sell. His heart wasn't really in it, the, the Road King and the Valkyrie. And I said, give me a number on it. And he gave me a number and I didn't debate. Um, I was like, okay, I'll take them both because very rarely, this is, this is, they don't, to find an original Valkyrie in this popping metallic blue and cream color with the orange pinstripe is, uh, well, they're few and far between. And to find one that's got the full custom six gun dual exhaust, or should I say six, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what you'd call it, six individual exhaust, but six exhaust tips on it. Six in the six. Six, six in the six, exactly. It's got the uh, custom taillight cover on it. It's got the, the custom turn signal covers on it. Everywhere, everywhere you look, there's custom covers on, on everything. Chrome covering the whole motor from top to back. Everything, everything on it's been chrome. And I really like the highway pegs, but um, the radiator's got the chrome cover on it. It's just lathered in chrome and performance accessories front to back. Um, it's been upgraded with a set of Cobra radial tires front and back. Avon Cobra is the top of the line tires. The front one looks brand new and the rear one looks brand new also. Um, it's got a new battery in it. It's been completely serviced. The valves were just adjusted. I have the receipt in the, in the, in the saddlebag for the valve adjustment. The carbs have been serviced and clean. It needs nothing. The inside of the tank is perfect, clean, beautiful and ready to go for another 20, 30, 40 years. So get them while you can, folks. These things, uh, there are not many of these left out there in this kind of shape that uh, have been lovingly cared for. So if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. I think the photos and the way it runs speaks for itself. But with that, let me do a drive-by for you because that's where the real magic happens when you open the throttle. Typical Honda quality. The sound is intoxicating. I just want more. If you're looking, if you're looking for a classic custom, unlike any other, buy this bike. If you're looking for a bike you'll never outgrow, buy this bike. And also, I have a choice of three shields, small, medium, and large. I have three Honda Valkyrie shields in stock. Take a look over there, you'll see there's the, the small, clear one. Uh, excuse me, the small, the one in the middle is, is, is the shorter one, the blue. The blue 
and uh, clear is two inches shorter than, than the one on the left, which is the medium. And then the tall one for touring is the one all the way on the right. Pick your poison. You can have one, you can have all three. The other shields are $100 each if you want to get them. But we had those in our inventory, so you get your choice. Um, and it's a quick detach shield. It just screws onto right here, four bolts, and now you've got a cruiser. It's already got the saddlebags. Guys, th this is the same block engine block they put in the Honda Gold Wings. This is designed to go hundreds of thousands of miles of highway cruising. It's designed to be trouble-free, bulletproof, and fun. That's what it's all about. So even if you're not gonna ride it much, if you're getting that winter depression, just get in the garage, fire it up. We put VP non-ethanol fuel in there, and I know you can't smell it, but let me tell you, it smells like candy. It smells like coffee in the morning, better than coffee in the morning. Love it. Let's take it for a rip. This is what the gold wing should have been, the naked wing. This is what that should have been the first time around. How about right down there? For such a large bike, it, it has a light, nimble feel, and uh, the performance is on point. Love the highway pegs. I'm six foot two. Even in uh, around town in traffic, I love having my feet extended like this. It's just, it feels right, it feels comfortable. Why do you hear this thing roar? It's awesome. A kick ass piece. thinking back in 96 when Harley Davidson was selling 300,000 plus bikes a year and the Honda, the Honda engineers who hate to be beat drew this up on the drawing board and sat there in their uh, conference room with a finished product they must have had a huge smile on their face this was a big F you into the face of all the other cruiser manufacturers because nothing could really compare to the performance of this a V-twin can't compare to the smooth rush of torque that this thing gives you and they're absolutely bulletproof. So, hey, I ride a Harley Dyna as my street weapon of choice, but I could easily switch to a Valkyrie or a Rune. I don't know if you've ever seen a Honda Rune. Check those out. Those start at like 20 grand now. You can't even get them. They took this motor and made it even wilder you know, with a different front end. So Google Honda Rune. But this is, if you're looking for a bike, that's an investment quality classic you can ride every day. Look no further, folks. It's as good as it gets. I'm gonna drop the mic now. It's carbureted perfectly. It's got a new battery in it. The valves are adjusted perfectly. It's tuned to perfection. It needs absolutely nothing. Take it up. 